So today I wanted to talk about like the different um, local methods to making a cloned AI voice of yourself. And I know everybody knows about 11 Labs, but there are alternatives that you can use locally on your computer. And it's something that's completely free and you don't have to pay for them. But first I wanted to show this guy's YouTube channel. He had created a um, pipeline for RVC and towards TTS. And I'm gonna be demonstrating one of the uh, repositories that he's edited and made it just easier for you to basically generate a voice with tortoise tts and then it pipelines to rvc and it actually improves the quality of the voiceover but i'm also going to show i'm also going to show a github that i found that does something very similar except it uses xtts instead of uh, tortoise tts so I don't, i'm not sure if the these are similar models or if XTTS is a completely different model than Tortoise. But it says down here that it utilizes the uh, CoQs XTTS V2 paired with RVC. And, you know, we can see what Tortoise does. Tortoise is a text-to-speech program built with the following priorities, strong multi-voice capabilities, highly realistic prosody and intonation. And then XTTS... Pretty much the same thing it says XTTS is a voice generation model that lets you clone voices into different languages by using just a six second audio clip, six seconds, which is crazy. And I've found that the XTTS, the pipeline for hit with RVC, actually generates a little bit faster than uh, Jared's pipeline. But I'm going to show you, like, I'm going to try to compare because I've made a voice model of myself and I just want to show a comparison between the two. So I'm going to go ahead and start up. I've got like a short little poem that I've generated here. And we're going to start with Jared's voice cloning repository, which he's edited. This wasn't his original repository, but he edited it to have a pipeline with RVC. So you'll see what I mean once I start it up here. So it does take a second to start up, but I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. That way you don't got to sit and wait. So once it gets started up, you'll have to, uh, you can hold down the control and just click on this link and it'll automatically open up the Gradio web page. So for the most part, I've already got the sentence set up the way I like it. And I'm going to paste this little poem in here. And I'm going to have it generate and it's going to use myself model for myself. And I also got to click show experimental settings. And I also have another model myself. And this is my RVC model. So this is my TTS model. And it's just a sample, basically, of my voice. And then here is the um, RVC model. So actually, the TTS model I have in Fine Tunes, myself, PTA. And this is just a sample of my voice. Then I've also got the RVC model. So you can see how I've got all the settings set up here right now. And I'm going to go ahead and generate, and we can see how long it takes generate so see it's got to go through auto regressive samples and we can see the total amount of time that's taking here at the top to generate the clip so it'll do this a couple of times and the reason for that is it depends on how many samples you've got to set down here at the bottom if you set it to less samples then obviously it won't go through this so many times but the more samples you give it the better the quality will be. So it's over 100 seconds now so far. And you don't have to use the same exact settings that I have. These are just the best settings that I've found that works so far. For me, anyways, for my particular voice. But you might have to go through and adjust them and tweak them a little bit in order to get a better sound for your voice because you might have a different accent than me. You might speak faster than me. So right, as of right now, it's it's over 160 seconds. Now, like I said, you can shorten that time span by lowering the amount of samples that it takes, but then it's going to have a lower quality, though. And it also really depends on how well trained your voice model is. My voice model, I trained it up to at least 500 epochs, but I'd only given it like... 15 20 minutes of my voice now if i had a better sounding mic or something like that i could probably give it a better data set and that would increase the quality a little bit more so it really just depends on how much effort you want to put into making the voice model but for this one you're going to have to make two different voice models so for this particular repository uh, you'll have to have 
a finely tuned model and then you'll also have to have the RVC model but for the other method that I'm going to show you you just need the RVC model and just a sample of your voice so we can see here it took a total of 329 seconds in order to generate this short little poem that I had wrote here so we're just going to listen to it and see what it sounds like in a meadow green and wide a brown fox takes a graceful stride over a dog so lazy and still he leaps with ease a sight to thrill with fur aglow in the morning sun his journey's just begun a leap of joy a bound of fun a tale of two under the sun so you can see it does kind of sound like me it's not perfect you know because he doesn't really keep like the same accent that I have. You know, I have more of like a country accent, I guess, because I live in the sticks and I, I speak a little bit more slowly. I'm not as I'm not as literate as this guy is, basically speaking. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But when I show you this other method, you're gonna be blown away because it doesn't take near as long and it actually sounds better, in my opinion. So. I'm going to load up the uh, the other repository. So this is XTTS RVC UI. I'm just going to hit start here. And I'm going to go ahead and X out this other one. And turn that off, the gradial. So you can see using models XTTS. And it just has like a short voice sample of myself. And it's using the um, RVC model. So I'll just go down here and I'll click on this little link right here. One of these links down here and you can see that the the ui is much simpler now typically i'll keep the index rate at like 0 0.9 or 0 0.85 but 0 0.9 is pretty good and i'm just going to paste the same text in here and i'm going to put the pitch up to two because it tends to make my voice sound a little bit deeper on the tts result and then it's going to convert the tts result to rbc so you'll see how much faster this goes. So this one only took about 50, 50 to 60 seconds to process. So less than a minute to process all this text. And now we're just gonna see how it sounds. In a meadow, green and wide, a brown fox takes a graceful stride. Over a dog so lazy and still, he leaps with ease, a sight to thrill. With fur aglow in the morning sun, his journey's just begun. A leap of joy, a bound of fun, a tale of two under the sun. So you can see just how much better that sounds, and it takes a shorter period of time to generate it. So, I mean, I was using Jared's method for a little while, and, you know, he did a really good job pipelining it and making it to where it was easier for you to to use the RVC in tandem with the uh, Tortoise TTS. And I just wanted to demonstrate that to you before I showed off this newer method because, you know, his method is good too. And I mean, if you have better hardware and if you had better voice models, you might be able to make that method sound better than this method. But this method here, it doesn't take near as long to generate and it sounds really good in my opinion. And if you're trying to make clones of your voice locally, this is the best alternative I've found so far to Eleven Labs. Now you could try different voice models and 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 just set up different repositories for different voice models and try to see which ones work the best. But so far, when I came across this, I was like, "Wow, this is pretty good." But uh, you know, you have to go about you know the technical aspect of of setting up the repository on your computer. And then you have to download the um, everything that's required for it. So it basically tells you here what you need for it. And you'll have to make sure that's installed first. But then you'll clone the repository onto your computer. And then you'll do pip install requirements. And he'll just install everything that's required for it or the uh, Python code, and that'll get you started. I mean, I'm not gonna show you step-by-step step how to do that right now, but I just wanted to demonstrate how it works and how well it works. And this is a good alternative to 11 Labs. I mean, because 11 Labs, you only get so many tokens on 11 Labs. So let's just go to 11 Labs here. And okay, so on 11 Labs, if you're just using the free 
version of 11 labs it's only giving you 10,000 tokens to start out with and if you pay for it i mean you go to subscription and if you want to buy like more so starter package gives you 30,000 right and the creator package it looks like they've cut the price down quite a bit i guess they're doing some kind of sale right now but creator package that's probably where you'd want to go with to begin with because a thousand characters you're going to run out of that pretty quick especially if you're making like two or three videos a day or more yeah that's all going to be gone it says two hours of generated text-to-speech well what happens when you got to regenerate it because it messed up on a part or it said something incorrect well then you're wasting your money it's just going into the ether you know and I wanted to show this because these companies, they're making websites of stuff that is basically available for free, but they're using this, they're using um, this software that you can get, this open source software, basically, in order to get monetary gain from people. So to me, I don't think, if you're, if you're an AI YouTuber and you're, you're going on your videos and you're telling people to go to these websites and sign up and subscribe to these services and stuff like that you should be informed enough to tell them that hey there are alternatives out there that you can do for free and it takes a little bit more technical know-how but once you get everything set up i mean it's completely free it's something that you run off your computer so yeah this is something i just wanted to demonstrate to people because i I figured there's probably still people out there looking for a better alternative to 11 labs and to me this is probably the best alternative so far that i've found so i'm going to include the links to the github accounts for both of these so here's the uh, github for the xtts rvc ui and here is the github for uh jared so basically what he's done is he took the original repository and he's added a pipeline inside of it for RVC. And if you click right here on releases, you can go straight to his Hugging Face page where it provides you a download link to his voice cloning. And that's probably the, this is probably the easiest one to set up. But then again, this is the first one that I showcase to you, and it takes longer for it to generate the text so uh, in order to speed that up though you would have to reduce the amount of samples that it's taking in so if you just set it to like two samples it won't take near as long to generate but still it really depends on your hardware too so i have a 3090 but i think jared has like a 4090 so that's probably why in his videos it looks like he generates video he, he generates voices pretty quickly you know because he's using a 4090 so it's a little bit faster than a 3090 but that's all I wanted to show you guys. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And if you if you want to see a tutorial video on how to install this TTS RBC UI, I'll show you a tutorial. I'll show you exactly how to do it step by step. All you got to do is let me know. So just comment down below. And thank you guys.